sad I was over this sickness, so that's why I haven't posted a video in a week, because I was sick, and then I thought I was over the sickness, and it's coming back. <laughs> Hi everyone, Iru here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of my Marine Kingdom jumper skirt that came in the mail today, yay! Um, I'm also going to be talking about uh, Nopin, which is the shopping service that I went through. So they used to be called Crescent Shop uh, a year or two ago, and then they switched over to being called Nopin, and this is my first experience going through them, and it was a really pre pleasant experience, so um, I'm going to share that with you. But first, I'd like to talk about my Marine Kingdom headband that I got from APUSA, so here it is. Um, Here's a picture of the stock picture versus my headband. Um, the headband picture was taken by APUSA and the stock picture uh, was from AP Japan. Um, you'll notice in the stock picture, the headband sits on the left side versus on mine, the headband sits on the right. Um, I, I just think it's a funny mistake. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's still a good quality headband. Everything's the same about it. Uh, you've got the pearls in the front and the shell lace with uh, the AP logo in the print here and the jewel and the little sparkles and bubbles all over. Um, the frill hanging off, the little veil. Um, the headband is dotted with bubbles just like in the print and it has angelic pretty on the inside, so it's everything is just like the headband would be. It just is hilarious to me. It's on the opposite side. So um, all of, most of my headbands sit like this. I think all of my headbands are either in the middle or on uh, this side. Like this one is from Baby, and um, it sits on that side. Um, but yeah, so I have one <laughs> random um, one that's on the opposite side, and I I think it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if this is a problem with. All of the Marine Kingdom headbands or just the one I got but it tends to do this where it, its natural kind of folded state is like this uh, so it looks squashed and flattened and I know that's I don't know if that's an effect of necessarily being in the box or I don't know if you're supposed to have to fluff it out every time but I keep having to do this and pull on the edges so that it actually stands up and even then it kind of looks a little like a satellite dish and uh, so I'm not sure how to fix it. I might uh, remove some of the stitching in the back and restitch it so that the bow actually sits like a bow and doesn't twist over. Or I might at least pin it down with hair clips or something when I wear it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's super cute and I like it. Um, my uh, mirrored head bow, if you will. <laughs> so enough of that. Um, on to unboxing and talking a little bit about Nopin. So, while I start on getting this open, I will talk about the shopping service that I went through. So, No Pin um, used to be called Crescent Shop, and it was, I remember it being a little bit confusing. So, I, I don't really remember ordering from Crescent Shop because it was so long ago. But I do remember that I was a little bit confused at the auction process, um, particularly, and I used to um, be more familiar with their actual shopping service, like going to shops and going to online shops. But um, now, actually, their auction process is super simple. So if you make an account on their site, um, you can search in English or in um, Katakana or Hiragana. Um, you can search for whatever you want. Um, I, my searches tend to be like Angelic Pretty and then Coat in Katakana. Um, and then I will um, go and click on whatever item I want. And then I'll be able to see any prior bids placed on it. It'll look just like the Yahoo Japan auctions page for that item. And then when I bid on it, it'll say Crescent Shop bidded on it as the like user that um, is under the bidding. And then so you have to pass two rules. You have to be the highest bidder overall and you also have to be the highest bidder on Crescent Shop. And so if you go to my Nopin and then 
look at all of your options on a list, you'll see um, some of them will say won if you already won it, some of them will say lost if the bidding is over, but some of them will say um, like outbid and there's two different colors. One of the colors for outbid means that you're outbid like in general, like someone outside of Crescent Shop bid on it. And then one of the ones will say outbid and it'll be a different color. And then that one means someone else on Nopen has outbid you. So either way you have to like be the outbidder. It's just nice that it tells you. And then um, after that, if you win your item, um, they'll send you an invoice, including like the domestic within Japan shipping fees and you pay that invoice. And then they will hold your items in their shipping center. So let's say I had um, bought the Dream Marine jumper skirt and, I don't know, found the tights on Yahoo auctions or something, which I didn't, but, um, let's say I had done that, then what I would have done is held the jumper skirt in the shopping center until, um, the tights came in to Nopen, and then, um, I would be able to package those two together, so Nopen would package both the tights and the jumper skirt for me, and then I would save on international shipping, which is a really, like, nice thing for them to do that way. I'm not paying for 8 million packages and not um, paying the shipping charge on all of those, so, and then having to keep track of tracking numbers for all of those, so it was really nice of them to do that. And then, so... Uh, they got the box open. This is how they package it. I took the shipping tag off. Um, it'll say no pin, present trading, and then my address on there, which I probably shouldn't have put up on the internet, but oh well, I'm moving soon, so. And you pack it with a bunch of newspaper. I pull out all the newspaper. I can see my lovely jumper skirt. It's wrapped thick in bubble wrap, so it's super protected. And man, this is some heavy duty tape. Like usually I can just rip the tape off, but I needed to borrow my fiance's box cutter for this, so thanks babe. He just saluted at me. <laughs> um, so here it is packaged. It's packaged in the bag that AP gave, but it looks like they folded it over so it would fit into their smaller box, which is perfectly fine. And here is my lovely Dreamer and jumper skirt. Let me unfold it. so pretty. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I actually, um, since I had such a good experience with uh, Crescent Shop, or with No Pin, I guess, I keep wanting to call it Crescent Shop. I feel like they still go by both names, so it's acceptable. Um, I went back and I bought a couple of Sallow Pets from um, Yahoo Actions that I did not have the money for, so shh. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I, um, this is going to be like bad for me, I guess, that um, it's so easy to use, but I, I love it. It's a really like easy to use uh, shopping service. And um, their fees are pretty reasonable. I think it's only like 5%. Um, yeah, they, they take 5%. If you buy something that's lower than a certain amount though, like let's say you only pay like a thousand yen for something, which is like $10. Um, they, I think they have a flat rate, like $5 fee, so I wouldn't suggest it for like smaller items. For like smaller items, um, I would try to either buy a bunch of small items at one time and then package them together and that way your fee will like make more sense. Or um, I would just wait and then um, try a different shopping service that specializes in smaller items altogether. All right, on to the review of the jumper skirt. So um, this is this jumper skirt. Um, I'll stand up and be able to show you all of it. I'll start from the top and then I'll work my way down through the jumper skirt and try and show you guys as many details as possible. Um, so you can compare and contrast this to my um, review of the tiered jumper skirt. So this one is the regular version and I reviewed the tiered version. They are, they are in two different colors but um, I think you can compare and contrast like which version and the details and lace on the versions and just to see which one you like better if you haven't already gotten this print and are interested. Um, here's a link to my review of the tear jumper skirt and I'll also post that link in the description. So I'll start with the tippy top which would be the shoulder straps. They have these cute little bows right at the top and these bows are made out of a satin material so they're super smooth and I like doing this. <laughs> Um, they 
are the same material that is in the lining and so the whole jumper skirt is lined with this satin material um, which is really nice I like lined jumper skirts a lot um, and these bows match there's another bow pretty close to the top right at the bottom of the bust area that matches this with the same material so it's also very smooth and it's got these four little pearls the shoulder straps have this jeweled bubble pattern that you see on the head bow and they have the same um, dotted lace that is on the tiered jumper skirt straps the other two ribbons on the bust part are actually ribbons like they are ribbons that are folded in half to make a bow as opposed to this bow and this bow are actually sewed out of pieces of satin so they do feel different to the touch I think on camera they just both look shiny so it's hard to see the difference but um, these are actually two different materials so this is much smoother and then this feels softer if that makes sense the bust part is made out of chiffon it kind of reminds me of a jellyfish it also reminds me a lot of uh, sweets jam which that's one of my favorite angelic pretty um, prints and uh, the jumper skirt and OP versions for that look like a jam jar on top um, with the cloth and then tied around and so that's what this top part reminds me of so we're super excited when they use that design for marine kingdom Moving down underneath this bow, underneath the bust part, is this corsetting looking area. Um, it's not actually adjustable, so I'd call it like a fake corsetting area. It's just ribbon cross hatched um, over it. And then these like almost lace bubbles um, that are along the tiered jumper skirt, along the tiering, are here instead. And then um, they have this more of this dotted lace. The lace on top of the bustle part or the bust part is um, also dotted but it's a slightly different pattern so the dots follow the edge and it's scalloped lace it's super cute I love it this dotted lace continues down so now we're at the waist part um, it kind of forms a little almost like curtain right here so the lace comes up and then goes back down right in the center um, this is the same dotted lace that's along the uh, shoulder straps and then it's got a detachable bow here made out of the satin material. This bow reminds you of the headband a lot because it's got these same big pearls um, that are along the headband. So this bow is detachable. So here it's got a typical angelic pretty uh, pin and you can remove it and pin it to the headband or use it as a shoulder brooch. Um, so it's pretty cute. I like it a lot. Um, and then it's got these ribbon hanging off, which is, that's what I like the most about this bow. It's, got, it's almost like um, one of those prize brooches. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. And then it doesn't have a tiering because it is the regular jumper skirt. So the bottom part is one piece. Like there is no division along it. So it goes from this jeweled print all the way down straight into the castles. And it's got that same gradient effect that I talked about. So it starts off pink, then goes through purple, and then it goes through a darker purple, and then it cuts off, and then it's like a purpley blue on the bottom instead of the dark blue that was on the tear jumper skirt. I talked about the print a lot in the tear jumper skirt review, but I can show you guys again because the mermaids and the seahorses do look a little bit different on this background. So. Once again, um, we'll start off with the castle, and then move on to these cute seahorses kissing. Mwah. There's a little seashell with a pearl down there, and a bow, some more pearls that line the bottom. Then we get over to this Angelic Pretty logo seashell, and there's this other castle that I like it. it reminds me of the one from The Little Mermaid, but I like this one a lot better, actually. And then um, there's the purple mermaid girl again. She's my favorite. I like her little sparkles on her tail. And then, last but not least, we have the pink mermaid over here. She's super pretty with her long, flowy hair, her little clownfish friend. I really like that the bottom part has the, this pearl pattern. I really like that about this dress and then these drop pearls. And then of course, 
the beautiful lace that a lot of Angelic Pretty dresses have. Um, this one has seashells, just like the tear jumper skirt. And then the AP logo and little stars. And finally, there is a inner lining. So it's almost got that built-in petticoat kind of effect. So even if you wear this without a petticoat, it would fluff out. But um, I still recommend <laughs> wearing a petticoat if you want the actual Lolita silhouette. So one thing I didn't um, talk about as much on the tear jumper skirt uh, was the actual structural components of the dress. So um, you have your zipper on the side that comes down quite a bit and then there's the hook at the top to make it a lot easier to put on. So when I put it on I usually hook the top first if I can get it in there. And then I zip up the jumper skirt and that way it makes it so like it doesn't get caught because sometimes the jumper skirt uh, zipper can get caught on the lining when you're putting it on and that kind of stinks um, it's much less so in um, a lot of over the past like three years AP started using this kind of zipper um, before they use the thin narrow zippers that like like were really well hidden by the seam, but those would get caught all of the time. It was so frustrating. On the opposite side of the zipper, um, most jumper shirts have a pocket. The tiered one does too. I didn't talk about it, but um, yeah, here's the pocket. And it is lined on one side with that satin material I talked about, and on the other side it is printed. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it. I just enjoy that there's actually dresses out there with pockets. And um, one thing that I missed talking about when I was talking about the top part was you have the corsetting and then it moves on to another layer on the side where you have this scallop kind of, it's, it's almost like half of these little circles. So there's these little cloth circles and then you have little half cloth circles in my me of scallops. <laughs> It is not, the back is not um, completely shared like the tiered version. Uh, it's only a panel of sharing and then it's tied by the corsetting lace, um, which is fine for me But again, I recommend if you have a larger bust to go for the tiered version um, because that stretches more um, And then underneath the corsetting part There's more circle lace I kind of wish that they used more of the shell lace because there's only the shell lace at the bottom And then they use the circle lace a lot, but this dotted lace is still really cute And of course you got your I mean, it's new, so we have the AP tag and the little piece of cloth in case you tear your jumper skirt, which don't tear your jumper skirt. But if you do, your AP's got you covered. And then the beautiful waist ties, they're lined in satin on one side. Again, this is the same material that's on the lining on the inside of the jumper skirt. And then they have this um, kind of curtain scalloped lace that comes up in the middle and then goes back down. And then uh, these are ribbons, they're not the satin material and they're not chiffon, they're like the ribbon material. So yeah, so, and then lastly, little pearl buttons on the waist tie. I just got a pair of, on a tangent, I just got a pair of um, Dr. Martens and the little circles on the corsetting part remind me of the eyelets on Doc Martens. So I haven't seen these kind of holes before, which are really good because usually what AP does is they have uh, kind of ribbons like this. I can show you really quick actually on Sugary Carnival. So usually what AP does is they have these little ribbons, like little circles that hold the corsetting ribbon through them. And what's frustrating about this is these ribbons tear like crazy. If you tighten it too hard, they will just rip right off and um, maybe I'm just a complete klutz and not careful with my clothing but I've had this happen to me so many times and so it's super nice that AP realized that and put these little eyelets on it because there's no way these are gonna rip out they're super sturdy and this cloth is double layered so it's pretty thick so the ribbon will not be able to rip these out and so to summarize um, the jumper skirt There are one, two, three, four, four kinds of material used on the jumper skirt. So you've got the satin that's found on some of the bows and on the inner lining. 
you have the chiffon that's found at the top and um, you have the ribbon bows. The tiny bows are made out of a folded piece of ribbon. And then of course you have the actual cotton of the jumper skirt. And then there's three kinds of lace on this jumper skirt. There is the circle lace that I've showed, um, for example, on the waist part. And then there is the tiny lace, which is along the top of the jumper skirt, the little dots and it's scalloped, and also along the waist ties. And then you have the shell lace that's at the bottom with the little seashells and the AP star. So yeah, I hope that was informative for you guys, and um, I do recommend um, Nopin for um, Yahoo Japan auction purchases. Um, so, um, I'm going to change into this. I'm super excited. Be right back. This is the coordinate that I ended up putting together for the day. This jumper skirt was super fun to wear. This is Iru, over and out. I hope you guys like this review a lot. Um, if you like what you see and want to see more um, unboxing and uh, review videos, please make sure to like and comment and subscribe. Um, I'll be posting um, the links to my last two videos in the description below. So um, enjoy!